Welcome back to part two now of our kind of hopeful, helpful series of videos on what to buy first if you want to learn to play the electric guitar. An amplifier guitar. or a dog. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen part With a handle one, on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or you've hey. forgotten who we are. Uh, anyway, this is Justin Sarnico from uh, JustinGuitar.com, one of the biggest uh, teaching YouTube guitar channels, one of the biggest guitar uh -huh. teaching YouTube channels in the world. Mm. Yeah. This is Danish Pete. Uh, our uh, maestro playing guitar player <laughs> from Anderson's TV. And I'm Lee, sometimes known as the captain. Uh, and I try to steer the ship, basically. Um, <laughs> it's just like without this. crashing into any icebergs. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we're on to amps. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Um, <laughs> and, him right down you. <laughs> really, what we tried to, to say in the first video is um, all the tone, 99.9% .9 of the tone that you hear from an electric guitar is actually is all coming out the amplifier. So it's yeah. all about with the guitar, it's about finding something that feels great, looks cool, right kind of price. Inspirational. How you want it to sound is largely down to the amp. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've picked four amps here to um, give you an idea of what I think we should start on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from 50 to 200, right? Yeah, the Each. cheapest one is, is 50 pounds or 59 pounds. Uh, a little bit less, I think, if you buy it within like a guitar bundle with an electric guitar. And the dearest one is uh, just under £200. A copy. Well, and actually, well. the <laughs> cheapest one and the dearest ones were the two easiest ones to pick. Mm -hmm. um, we should probably start with the cheapest one. Let's do it. Now, what we should also do, well, if we're talking about that, is to grab out a really expensive guitar to compare the sound between that because you've got lots and lots that of is, really nice that's a great guitars. shout it's very very so simple just pick, what, pick any guitar what's the most expensive the the less the paul reed smith there's a prs paul reed smith that's that's 4000 pound paul reed smith okay here. got some purple yeah. underpants i've got some purple underpants oh that's a different video that we did See, it actually I, is I a different forgot, video i've forgotten my hat <laughs> so there we go oh my god <laughs> yeah thank goodness that pete's watched those uh, right or did i so oh, did i 50 pounds yeah this is what fifty pounds buys you. You can either a dog buy. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll tell you what we'll go. There are tiny little nine volt battery amplifiers that you can buy for twenty or thirty pounds that look kind of cool because they're sometimes little plastic replicas of Marshall yeah, amplifiers. Yeah, and you can cl but, clip them on. But there they and walk sound around. awful. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. Great. Don't buy one of those. They're not. Great. If, not unless it's a joke. At fifty pounds, there are a Blackstar do a good one, for example, called Little Fly, which are pretty small but actually sound okay. But what I've elected for for fifty pounds is a is like a proper guitar amplifier, if you like. It's a it's this kind of thing is um, if you've got a buddy that plays drums and you know you want a little garage band kind of thing together, you can take this. You can wind everything up to ten. You can stand in the corner and you can scream away, and you'll be able to do that kind of a mess around. So that's mm -hmm. why I've picked this. It's fifty nine pounds. It's got a little bit of reverb built in. It's a, it says reverb on the amplifier. It's kind of like a crossover reverb delay kind of chip. You'll see what I mean. And I think you'll agree that uh, of I think it sounds okay. I mean, at 50 pounds, we're not trying to do anything other than sound mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, but here we go. It's got, uh, if I wind the reverb up, you'll hear more of that slapbacky echo thing. <laughs> so it just kind of takes the, the dry edge off of a guitar tone. It's got some built in gain. <laughs> For 50 bucks, the amp that I grew up playing was a Gorilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember, a GG25 or something with a tube stack or something switch on it. Yeah. And it sounded like a wasp in a jam jar on yeah. its best days. Yeah, yeah, It was yeah, an yeah. awful sounding thing, you know. I, I still think, you know, a wasp in a jam jar criticism is, is a fair one to throw at this kind of thing. You know, they are small speakers, it's a small uh -huh. enclosure, and it is 50 quid. Yeah, you know, it's the same yeah, price yeah. as uh, FIFA on the PlayStation. You know, it's right. like, what are you. But if you've if you got it. Universal. If you got it. There we are. Look, it's not bad. It's, <laughs> it's, it's right. okay. Yeah. Now, in all fairness, we don't sell a ton of these on their own. 
but what we do sell a ton of these is uh, the East Coast um, GS 100s. You know uh -huh. the, the the Super Strat style ones. Of those yeah. mm -hmm. that plus that plus all your accessories da, 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 is 149 quid. Okay, so that we sell loads. This is a great and price. That's great. Okay. That's your cable. Do you want it? Cable yeah. Cable. So let's see if it sounds any better with a really expensive. And this is this is. I get I get we go clean. Yeah, let's do clean. This is what we're saying, I think. There's no point buying an expensive guitar unless you're prepared to buy an expensive amp as well. It. There you go. <laughs> uh. A little bit louder, a little bit more clarity. But yeah. not yeah. But, I mean, four. Uh, four. Ever so slightly different. I mean, it's, it's not really it, it, like it's not enough, anyway. It's look, not enough for spent justifies spending no, that kind of money. Fifty Definitely quid. Not. You can't really you can't really go wrong for fifty quid. It's a great place to start. Yep. Yes. Now, on my journey of looking through all the guitar amplifiers we spend, once you get above fifty quid, and before you get to the Boss Katana, which the Boss Katana is currently in 2019, it's and has been for probably the last two years. It's the king of all mm -hmm. the kind of the yeah. small amplifiers. Yeah. Yeah. I struggled to really go, what's the standout one? You know, there's a mm -hmm. there's just loads and loads of good amps. There's amps on special offer, which make them interesting for a short period of time, whatever. But I ended up going, you've probably got two options. You're either going to go um, relatively sort of solid state. So a few options in terms of the way the sounds go uh, and a few effects built in, or you're going to go more of a modeling amplifier. And I picked uh -huh. out my no two this one. kind of favorite <laughs> ones. So the first one Let's go over this one is the Fender. Yeah. This is pretty simple to use, more along the kind of, um, it's not really what I would class as a digital modeling amplifier. And it um, looks cool, it looks it, Fender. It, it, it looks, it, looks like a it, Fender amp, you yeah. know, it's an inspirational look. And it sounds pretty mm. good, like, I've been pretty impressed with this, I've yeah. got to say. Like, so quite a lot of it. The idea, you've got these voices here. You'll notice, I don't know how zoomed in we are here, but there are four main voices from sort of clean Fender ones through to heavy metal ones. And each voice has a, a, a red, a green, and, a, and an orange mode, which are just different types of sounds. Gain and volume controls here. The more we wind the gain up, the more dirty it'll get. And then we've got an interesting effect section. So we've got some basic kind of reverbs, choruses, delays, stuff like that. Hmm. And for, so it's not just a basic amp. There's no, this is more going on so this that, is yeah. this is over a hundred pounds now. So these are about 110, 120 pounds, mm. something like that. Um, not much louder than the, you know, maybe. I mean, it's still it's twice the speaker. power, but it's maybe it doesn't make a big deal to the volume. Uh, still, still a small speaker, like a little uh -huh. eight inch speaker in there. Uh -huh. yep. So still very much a home practice amplifier. Mm -hmm. But if Pete play or either of you play now. You it's might crazy. begin to hear more of a difference between the cheap and the dear amp now. A uh, dear guitar. Nice midi kind it's of kick really in nice that. sounding yes. amplifier. So here Here's we go. The, uh, let's give it to, yeah, let's hear it through the through the expensive amp. <laughs> so much. Had you, had you, that, had you backed it? your volume off there? No. Nope. No. No. Well. no. I mean, with the oh, pitch, with, with it right up, yeah. that's really. Yeah. It's almost a bit too abrasive at I that. Can Definitely take it down a bit, I think. Um, so we're not shooting in the... I mean, it sounds slightly better. I can, You can notice yeah. it maybe a little bit, but... Go you back. can gain it up if you, one of you wants to, to we'll give go, it a bit of... Go back uh, here. Now this is more interesting as well because it's the gainy sounds that have the kind of the beat, the wasps in a jam uh -huh. jar kind yeah, of yeah. sounds. Let's see if this does the same. I shouldn't do. Heavier. There we 
Yeah, <laughs> I'll be yeah. honest with you. If I'd had one of these when I was starting out, I'd have played this thing to death. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. good sounding little amplifier. Just hear it with the the Dera. Actually, yeah. we should just try some other cheaper guitars. Yeah, you yeah. So we've just switched back to uh, one of the guitars we had from the first video. I've still got Justin on a kind of a slightly dirty sound. <laughs> Good last yeah. uh, Good if, little amplifier. If you can, uh, if you, you know, if you want to go up to that, you know, next level. Now, if oh, we, now just one thing that this just did, yeah. which I really like, was cleaned up a bit. Oh, okay. I'll leave Clean. it on there. So, just backing the volume mm. up made quite a difference on the. Yeah. That's a good thing. So there we go. There's that one. We've got a Black Star ID Core 20, yeah, which is there. similar yeah. kind of money. Now, as I said, I'll just sort of reiterate again. I felt there were a lot of amplifiers in this sort of 100 to 150 pound. You know, there's amps from Marshall, Orange, Line 6. Uh, there were a lot of amps we could have chosen. I, 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 there was something about these two that drew me to them, I, mm. you know, but I don't think other amps are, are bad at this kind of price. So the the, the, the um, Black Star basically just has more stuff. So you've got sort of kind of more different modes, few more effects in it, the ability to, you know, modulation delay. It's got um, a USB connection on here as well, so you can plug it into your PC. It, it's just more stuff. Um, Tuner, insider, patches. Loads it's, of stuff. Yeah. Some people, I suspect younger people that like technology are quite drawn to these products, and then yeah, older yeah. people that still can't work out how their television works are, are, you know, likely to go and use something like the old Fender. Now, yeah, here there's we go. a tuner built in here. Cool. Do we need it? We do. <laughs> yeah, I think no, we but are... Look, it's cool though. There's a tuner and it mutes and everything. That's good. And you've got that editor as well, so you can hook it up with USB to an editor and then and you, edit sounds and, and store them. You need to be using an editor to be able to access all it come, the It comes with, stuff. A free edit, with a free editor. No, 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 you've still got all the, all the delays and the modulation and stuff here, so okay. you don't necessarily need it, but it comes free with it. Yeah. So I'll get you a couple of different sounds. This one is 20 watts again, so same sort of volume as the Fender, which I still wouldn't really class as anything other than just a mess around at home, jam band in your garage yeah. kind of amplifier. This is stereo though, Lee. It is. It's got big sound. Might not pick that up on our miking setup, but it's a good sounding amp. I mean, it thinks a really good, clean sound. And then crunch. So, there's, uh, we can go super metal. <laughs> how, into, how out of tune is that guitar now? How out of tune is that guitar? Oh! <laughs> and there, there why, ladies why and gentlemen, is, no is, is like? why you wouldn't use the tremolo arm. Yeah. Anyway. Well, so, also this is strings yeah, and this I know. is So box. this is, uh, yeah. this is a, maybe another 10 or 20 pounds over and above the Fender again. I, I like this. I think it's a cool sounding little amplifier. It's yeah. nice and compact. It didn't, it didn't sound, have as nice a bassy response so. as the Fender. I, I, oh. I thought the Fender on the clean sound had a fatter. Yeah. Fender do kind of thing. classic Fender clean sounds great. Anyway, yeah. yes. Leads the, us the, on. The, the easy one to pick 
is the Boss Katana 50. Mm -hmm. Katana 50 has been out for two or three years now and it, they sell 20 of these for any other brand of amplifier at this kind of price. Um, it's super simple to use. It's 50 watts so it's the, and it's got the biggest speaker in it. So it's the first 12 all inch. The amps. Yeah, it's the first of all the amps in this kind of sub 200 pound, pound bracket where I think you can safely say absolutely go and join a band. Yeah, absolutely. This. And no it's got problem. a practice mode as well. So it's got yeah. half a watt so mm -hmm. you can play it at home, which is great. So I think these are by far the best beginner. Yeah, yeah. One, 190 played. they are. Yeah. Same kind of idea as with the, the yeah. Fender and the Black Star in that you've got these kind of different modes from clean through to dirty sort of sounds. Got lots of different effects. Again, you can USB hook this up mm -hmm. to your computer to do some editing. And it, it can be, you can use it as an interface that when you hook it up to recording. the computer, you can record it in yeah. there. But it, got... I think predominantly popular because it is the first one that you can really get a sense of a live sound out uh -huh. of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here we go, a couple of clean okay. sounds. And... Uh, clean. <laughs> Massive step we're, up. We're, we'll gun it up a bit, get some dirty. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you take that and just. You, you just will get, begin to hear the yeah, difference. Now, really now, now the difference will be more pants so if you go on the clean channel again. There's something about the dynamic feel yeah. on an expensive guitar that is different when the amps come up. Like the difference yeah. between loud and soft becomes more apparent that I don't understand why that doesn't have the same effect Well, I don't, I don't, that's just the way the guitar is built and the pickups are wound and you know, it's put together and it's got the, it doesn't have a, like a it's anyway, handmade, handmade expensive stuff. So I think really just to try and conclude this video that the advice was if it's really, really on a budget and you know you maybe want to get the complete bundle with the with the electric guitar as well. With this one and that one, 149. 149 pounds. You can't really go oh, wrong with that. As I said, bad. that's amazing. At yeah. the other end of the scale, if 200 pounds, if you can stretch to 200 pounds and you can get a Katana 50, you absolutely have got a really great sounding. We'll do little gigs. It'll it's got a home use mode, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then in between, I was like, you know, what, there's a lot of good amplifiers mm -hmm. there, and it's a sort of a personal choice really. But just accept that. If, if you go much smaller than this, you're only really going to have a home use amplifier. And yeah, then just uh -huh. choose, if, if you quite like buttons and technology and stuff, I think the Blackstar ID core stuff's great. If you like a simpler amp to kind of go and play with and you just mm -hmm. want to get some easier, simple sounds of it, I think the Fender Champion range is great. Yeah. But hey. And when you if you buy something like this and you want to upgrade your guitar, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to upgrade your amp. I think this will last you longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, the, I got one know. of these. I mean, yeah. there, there's, e there's even, and this is a whole different can of worms, rabbit warren to dive down, which we're not going to do now. Of course, if you've got, if, if your aspirations are only to play at home and you've got a PC or a Mac, you know, you've mm -hmm. got a computer, there's loads and loads of software that you can buy and you plug your guitar in there, you know. Yes. And, and you know, some of that yeah. sounds amazing as well. But yeah. so this has really just been on guitar amps. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's part two done. Thanks for watching. Part three is where we're going to talk about, you know, do we need any of these?